Chaplain Cannon here with the words, not word, but words of the day, time and family. Both are an extremely precious gift from God. And currently we have been very blessed with both during our current crisis. Time to spend with family or even time to collect our thoughts and gain control over our hectic lives. Isn't it funny that something we can't even see, such as this virus, something many of us don't even understand, has the ability to give us the exactly what many times we won't give ourselves, and that gift is time. This virus has given us time to think, time to spend with our loved ones, time to contemplate what's important, and time to prioritize life itself. Many a day goes by where we are so wrapped up in our work that we forget what's really important. We sacrifice our time for the perfect evaluation. We sacrifice family relationships for the approval of those we may never see again after our current assignment. Yet, when we finally hang up that uniform for the last time, it's our loved ones that will be there. Having had the benefit of serving in this Army for over 21 years, I've been to many retirement ceremonies. The one commonality amongst all these ceremonies, the one repeating thought or theme that I've heard over and over, is a desire to go back and spend more time with family, especially children. Now I'm not saying we ought to allow our work to suffer, and I'm not saying to quit everything and sit on the couch. That's the polar opposite of the point that I'm trying to make here. What I am saying is that there has to be a balance. There has to be a system of priority. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 5.15, We all come to the end of our life as naked and empty-handed as on the day we were born. We can't take our riches with us. Now I encourage you, as we spend this time all cooped up, as we spend this time in close proximity with our loved ones, turn off the TV, play a board game, cook as a family, start a family project. For those that maybe don't have family here, Modern technology has given us the time and means by which we can get creative and build those relationships. Prioritize life and spend time with loved ones. We have a chance to reset and heal what some of us may have lost. And one final passage of scripture to encourage us to spend our time with our family and spend it wisely, Ecclesiastes 5.18 says, I have noticed one thing, at least that is good. It is good for people to eat and drink and enjoy their work under the sun, during this short life God has given them, and to accept their lot in life. Take today. Prioritize what deserves your time. Mend and improve upon those relationships that will mean so much to us later on in life. You won't regret it. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.